One thing I haven't shown you in the visual editor is how to set block settings. And the great thing about the visual editor is that no matter what mode you're in up here, whether it's the manage mode, the grid mode, or the design mode, you can always change those settings. So if you want to upload an image to your header block, you can do that in your design mode here. Just click on the settings in the upper right hand corner. Under the general tab, click choose image. And if you're using Headway or sorry, WordPress 3.3, you can actually upload an image. by just dragging over and apparently that wasn't a very good image but uh, it scaled it so if we don't want to resize it we can uncheck that and then there you go now you've got an image up there if you want to change the settings of your content block just click the settings you can select the mode that you wish to use, whether you wish to have some sort of a, a custom query or default behaviors. One thing to note with the content block is that no matter what mode you're in, uh, until you save the settings of the content block, uh, the content that's being viewed may not be correct. And uh, hopefully we can work on improving this, but uh, one thing that, that we did want to do is we can't really do all the craziness in here on the fly uh, so quickly. Uh, but you've got things that you can display. So if you want to change your date format, you can change the date format. If you want to change the text area here, you can change the uh, post meta uh, content. You can change your below mo post meta content. So if you look below you'll see it says filed under instead of saying filed maybe we just want under some things you'll notice we can do on the fly uh, depending on if that content is, is showing or not you've got query filters so if you wanted to bring a page over instead you could fetch that page content you could also select the number of posts you want to show on your page how many featured posts you want to show, whether you want to paginate posts. You can also select the post type. So if you're using custom post types, they will be listed under here. And then you can also limit by author. So if you have several authors and you only want a certain author's content to show, you can limit the authors as well. Finally, each block has a config area. What this config area does is it allows you to add a block alias. So if you want to call this block the homepage content block, you can do that. If you want to add custom CSS classes that you want to use with the live CSS editor, you can do that as well. And finally, if you want to mirror a block, so if you want to say have the same settings from one content block be applied to another, you can mirror the block here. When you finish with your settings, just go ahead and click the Save button. Our settings are saved. And if we go out to our site and refresh, we can see those changes that have been made. 